Hi guys, so today we're going to read about Excel cell functions. So Excel cell function returns information about a cell in a worksheet. The sum of the informations to be returned when using the cell functions is it gives you the address, it gives you file name. So the main purpose is to get information about a cell. Usually the return value is a text value. So here the syntax is cell, info type and reference. Info type is the type of information to return about the reference. And reference is from which to extract the information. So now let's see an example of how to get use a cell function and what you get after that. So is equal to cell. So I'm gonna take my info as file name. So it gives me my file location. So one drawback here is it gives you the driver's letter as well as the folders. So to pick the path, we'll see how to pick the path, how to pick the workbook name and the worksheet name. So now let's see how to pick the path alone using the cell function. So here we are going to use the mid function. This mid function I've taught in the previous videos. If you all have not watched it, please go watch it. Otherwise, I've given here the syntax. So you have mid the text text is the text to extract from. So I want to extract from the file name. So I'm giving file name. And then it asks start number, the location of the first character. As I want it to pick the path, I'll give it as one. Next, num characters till what it has to extract it from. So as I can't give number, I'm gonna use find function. This also I've done in my previous videos. Please go watch it. So find, find text. So what text I wanted to find. So I wanted to find open brackets, square brackets. Within what text? Again, that is from my cell name, I mean file name. So close it. So next we're gonna see how we're gonna pick the workbook name from the file name. So here we are gonna use the mid and the find function. So is equal to mid. Mid is the so here the text is the text to extract from that is my file name and then um, I don't know the start number so I'm gonna use find to find the start number so I want my file name so I'm gonna take open the bracket as my start so square brackets This is my finding find text from where from my file name that is here and then I'm adding one I'll tell you why later and then I don't know my last and uh, characters to be counted from the first number so I'm gonna find that as well find the text I'm gonna find is the close brackets now with, within the, uh, the text is again my from the cell name sorry file name close it and i'm going to subtract it from find i'm going to find again my open the bracket from cell file name 
file name and then close it minus one so here you can see it's giving you the workbook name excel so here i'm gonna tell about the different find functions which is used here so here mid the text you want to find out this is the first find gives you the start location that is 21 from the 21st character you start counting the second find gives you the how many how many characters it has to count so it says from the sec uh, from the open bracket that is 31 minus 21 that is from 21 see from this is 21 and uh, this is 31 the closing bracket is 31 and the opening bracket is 21 so 31 minus 21 is 10 characters so from 21 position that is e calculate till 10 characters so you get exactly the file location i mean the file name so next we are gonna see how to pick up the worksheet name so here we are gonna use mid and here i want to find it from my file name and to start i'm gonna to uh, find close <laughs> excuse me close brackets within my file name so here One comma two fifty five. So we here in Excel the number of characters we can extract is two fifty five, but the file name can be up to worksheet names can be up to two fifty five characters. So as we are doing you know uh, we are pulling the worksheet name so it can be more than 255 so i'm giving the extreme number so here you can see you've got your worksheet name so that's all guys i hope you all understood hope you all liked it please like and subscribe bye